So I will call this regular meeting of the Public Site and Building Commission to order at 7.03. Um, our first order of business is pledge. Our flag's over there, so you can join me. Pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag to the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic, to the Republic for, which for which it stands, stands one nation, nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So, public input, don't have any public. Correspondence, it's all connected to our projects and election of officers. The new guy got appointed. I don't know if he got sworn in and he's not here. So what do you think? We wait or we wait for him? Who, who's the new guy? Um, Don Cope. Plumber yeah, family. Yeah, he's, he's a, I think he's a plumber. Yeah, his whole family's a plumber. Yeah. So, we go, we wait. Uh, one more meeting is not going to make it. Like, okay. Well, yeah, at least I haven't been bugging you lately, so we'll wait. So meeting minutes, so we'll wait. Next meeting, Kath, put it on the agenda. And I'll check in to find out if he's been notified that he needs to get sworn in. So, yeah. Um, approval of meeting minutes. I will make a motion that we approve the regular meeting minutes from April 26, 2023. Second. Roy seconds. Anybody have any input, additions, whatever? Good to go. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Does anybody have to abstain? No, no you are. Yeah, because you had that. You just had started work. your job. Yep. Just and um, Jerkins on too. And if you if he says if he needs to say anything, he'll let us know. He'll, um, you can come in. Um, so we'll go along with our old business. So first on the agenda is the Municipal Center uh, GP room lobby renovation. And Mark Schweitzer's here to give us a little update. So Mark and I met out there a couple of days, whenever it was, when was it? Tuesday, I guess, Kathy? Tuesday. And what, what, what do we have, Mark? Well, the, the tile guys were, well, they were redoing the bathrooms. The part, the existing partitions were down. The tile guys were on site uh, making preparations to put the, um, well, the tile got demoed where the they had the partitions partition holes. So that got demoed um, and they were about to start putting the new ones back on the wall. So that should be done. Tile should have been hung yesterday probably grouted today and probably um washed tomorrow and probably ready to go for either tomorrow or friday to put the partitions back in place yeah. along with the additional partition for the men's bathroom um we did check the none of the punch list has been completed um uh, from the last meeting that we had um the the screws in the side light were still not in we took a look at the completed punch list for the spacer for the panic bars on the gp lobby um and i did confirm with jay i did speak with jay this afternoon the spacers are in there i'm i he didn't he didn't say what kind of spacers they were but the spacers were in and then they caught the joint around the uh, panic bar where it meets the door. Um, the caulk looked like it was not good. I didn't like it. So, um, and they left smudge marks and um, black re remnants of caulk on the door. So um, I did inform him that they they need to come back and um, clean it up and try it again. And we also talked about the exterior doors. Well, I talked to them earlier about getting a uh, price for the uh, door closers on the the uh, general purpose room itself to open up to 180 degrees. He's still getting pricing on that. And I asked him to get pricing for a um, astragal to close the gap between the two exterior doors. Okay, so 
You did you go into one of the bathrooms? David was kind of checking things out. I just went in there. I, there, there was caution table, so I didn't step. I didn't know if the floor was tile or what. Yeah. Um, the ladies' room. They had one partition up, or at least looked like it was being set. The men's room. The urinal still off the wall. No partitions, but I couldn't notice. The any. urinal was taken off the wall. Yeah. Urinals underneath the sink. Why? Yeah. Probably Why? to do Pro the Pro Probably to replace the tile. Yeah. Where, where the partition was if they if they're redrilling new holes okay for the partition they had to take off the the one b it was probably right. one that was behind right. okay. behind the partition and behind the urinal so okay. the one partition in the women's toilet was it the one closest to the sink yes so that that was there yesterday so okay. they haven't put the partitions up okay Well, all right. So hopefully, hopefully by next meeting, this will be put to bed. We hope so. So the we one thing, we all test it out. I mean, it's all. We have to go have a couple of beers. <laughs> I mean, most of the stuff's kind of simple-ish, except for the partitions, and so and then yep. the uh, closers. So the the doors only open a certain distance, and they put some floor door stops on, and they, so they can only go this far. We want them to. Gotcha have a hold open thing that they can fold flat and and not because they were pushed open it was what, what that's why we discovered they don't work like the they don't go doors. past 90 degrees they don't go past i don't know maybe 135. i was going to say 95 or, or 100 is all yeah. they open yeah and part of it is that um whoever mm -hmm. opened them probably during the referendum or whatever they were pushed way open and the closer was sprung a little bit and then that was fine, but um, they came back and put those floor half round things on. So that's as far as they open. So, but somebody's going to keep pushing against those too, and mm -hmm. they're going to spring the hinges. So if we can get closers that work properly, we should be good. Or and the doors protrude into the corridor. So if you want, it, it's the wider they're open, the better. If you're walking past them, yeah. Especially if you end up like you have a crowd there for yeah. a meeting or an event or something like that. Can we, can we just go to a spring? Because you might find it difficult to get those closures to come all the way around. Well, there's different types of closures that do different yeah. things. So I think that's what they're looking into to see if there's something that does what we want it to. You know, if you take the closer off, I think the door would open. It's not. Yeah. Inches, it's the closer holding it in place. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a it's a it's the arm on the closer that needs yeah. to be. Well, it also has to be a handicap accessible. Closer. So that's the other thing. Yeah. Was it four pounds of pull? Something like that. Yeah. So they're looking into that, and hopefully they'll find that soon and let us know. Um, so we do have a couple invoices. If Mark doesn't have anything else, and if you guys don't have any other questions for Mark. Um, for this, and then we can move along. So the first is um, from Custom Care Building Services, and that was um, once they were finished, um, the floor needed to be stripped and polished, waxed and polished. So Kathy set the guys that, that use regularly here to, up to do it, which was quicker because they needed to have it done. They didn't want to get it all scuffed up on the weekend when because they did it on like Friday and on the weekend there was an event happening there so so we've got that um so so I'll make a motion that we approve invoice number 58397 from custom care building services for uh, strip and finish the new VCT in the GP room lobby for $371.25 second John seconds it any questions all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Done. And then the second is for Collier's and uh, for the month of April. I will make a motion that we approve the Collier's invoice number 00008436242. Um, like I said, for the month of uh, April. In the amount of one thousand seven hundred and ten dollars and eighty cents. 
Oh, second. Roy seconds it. Any questions or anything? I sent it around to everybody. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Done. So that should be it for um, the GP room lobby renovations till next time. So Mark, keep us posted on um, how things are moving along or if there's anything you need from us. Will do. Thanks, Mark. Yep, thank you. Have a good night. Yep. Take care. So next, uh, Rockwell and Johnson Schools, just a couple of updates. Um, the Board of Ed, Dr. Carver, heard back from the uh, Office of School Construction. Finally, there were some back and forth emails, which I was included in, but it was basically, yet they had a little meeting and then Yes, we have all the inform. Yes, we received all the information you sent. We're reviewing it now, and then we need this and this, and which Dr. Per Carver provided to them. And now it's they were continue to review everything, and they'll let Dr. Carver know if they need more, or if they can just go ahead and do the whole process where it's done, and um, we get our final reimbursement check. So it's moving along. A little kind of slow for a while, but they finally got. Do we on. have a do we have a um, a number left of what was not spent in that project? Um, I mean, it doesn't. I'm just quite curious. Well, right. So we're still. Um, I know the, the money for the um, level spread is coming out of that, right? Which has already been accounted for. Kind of, I mean, it's accounted for, and we know about what will be. But it's not anything that's going through um, state. You're right, right. So I think we were still. There was a whole spreadsheet that needs to be updated because we have had a couple of expenses right. on that on the level spreader. Um, to see if I can find an email that has it in it. It's close to, I think we're still around 700,000 in contingency, yeah, which we'll spend some of. How much? 700,000. No, I don't think so. Well, we gave up some money, right? We transferred Oh, you know what? We got some back from Yeah. Yes, so, yeah. Yeah, a okay. considerable amount. Mm. Oh, right. A couple, that was couple of three. three. Yeah. I got the. No, that's, still, that's still a six. If you're six, six, and, six and a half under, six and a half, that's a lot of money under. Right? Yeah. And it's going to stay pretty close to that. I'm trying to um, get the budget thing that Geraldine had put together. Yeah, because you know, as, so again, um, don't start. <laughs> current status over under. And I'm not going to say because I'm looking at the spreadsheet and five, six hundred thousand is about what we're. Yeah, I was just curious. I know we'll, we'll have probably a well, and we will get something together. So yeah. I will say that. Um, so I did get an email at the last minute, so to speak, from Evan, as he's not able to attend because he hurt his back and he's immobilized in a prone position and on painkillers. So, um, but as far as you know, he he'll be able to give us. Um, Probably at the next meeting, I'll make sure he gets something together with the information that was provided to Office of School Construction plus what we might have already spent on the level spreader. So on the level spreader, um, we, at the last meeting, we approved the Sunburst proposals. James made sure they got to Sunburst so Sunburst could start the process of ordering supplies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so now it's, you know, there's nothing much we can do right now until we start getting towards June, which is when they have to get started. Uh, I will say that uh, James DeMeo, town engineer, has spent a bunch of time with Evan 
back and forth, making sure that he's totally up to speed on the whole thing because James DeMeo, current town engineer, is going to be soon James DeMeo, former town engineer. He's um, found a job closer to home and works out for him really well. And Kathy's torturing him because <laughs> he's very good. He really and he was brought in on this um, at the request of Beth Cavagna for planning and zoning. He did a great job. He's, like I said, getting Evan up to speed. Um, they are advertising for a new town engineer, but I think it's going to be more Evan SLR kind of paying attention to it. And Joe Colotti, who I told him he didn't have to be here tonight, um, as we get into doing the work through construction administration. So, mm -hmm. uh, so like I said, nothing much we can do until we're at that point. So, that's all for school stuff. I'm comfortable too with uh, Sunburst. Yeah. Or the, you yeah. Know, yeah. Both of them. Yeah. You know, they're, they're both wind contractors. Right. So I, yeah. I, I don't think we're going to have any problems. No. Even if, no. Even if it wasn't directly supervised. Yeah. They're, they're going to do the work. They're going to do the work, but you know, we're going to need to, somebody's going to need to be in there checking things yep. periodically and do a final sign off. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Just Police station training range. Yeah. yeah. So here's here's the scare Mark Allen, here's the update. I don't know if you heard from Evan, but um, Evan says that he did receive the updated drawings from Chikonsky Humes this morning, and he has not gotten them back from Action Target. If you remember, you weren't here the last meeting, they had marked everything up, both Action Target and Chikonsky Humes had marked everything up with red and all the things that we needed clarified. The largest part of it was who's the mechanical contractor, who's the mechanical contractor. Some of it's Action Target's mechanical contractor. Some of it's going to be hired through Downs mechanical contractor. So that we needed clarification on all that. So they marked everything up, but you can't use those for construction drawings. So they had to then update the drawings to the point where they could be used to um, for construction, but also to go out to bid. And so, um, as I said, Evan is unavailable. Even if he came in on Zoom laying down somewhere, probably wouldn't be very helpful. Um, yeah. Is there any update on the unit? The unit itself, I the may makeup area unit? Nothing specific. No. No. I mean it's being manufactured and Yeah, all usually that. though they'll they'll give you a production yeah. uh, could come up. Right. Right. Put yeah, 20, days out, 20 days out, 30 days out. That's yeah. what that's why we want to keep moving forward with everything. So if it does, it's a beginning of October delivery. If there's something or mid September or beginning of September, we want to be have everything ready and in place. So I'm hoping at our next meeting we can do some more approvals. Um one thing So could Mark get an update on from the factory? Um no, because he's driven CPU, so he doesn't get that stuff. Um, so, Mark, I don't know if you want to say anything about plans or et cetera. I don't know if you knew that Evan was not going to be here. I just found out an hour ago. Um, I, I was not aware of that either. Um, we have completed the plans as far as we can. Yep. Uh, the only thing that we need to do is once we get the action target drawings to add their drawings to our set as, as reference drawings. Okay. And, so, and then, and then yeah. we're done. Yeah. So the email from Evan said he has not gotten the plans from Action Target yet. I don't quite get how they operate because they should have been able to just, they had less to do than you did. And so we're just going to need to keep bugging them. It's like you said, you need to attach them as reference so that that whole package, yours and theirs, can go out for bid. You can't Correct. further without any of that. So, um, like I said, I hadn't. I was going to text Evan and say, uh, "Are you coming?" But then I saw the email, which like, like it came in an hour ago. Well, an hour and a half now. But one thing that did um, that he that Evan was has been working on also was um, we had gotten a proposal from ESC to do all the environmental controls, all that. He's been in touch with them. They're holding their price. We also, um, he was working on getting a bid from CES for commissioning. And that's not complete yet, but we should have it at the next meeting. 
I, I did check in with the board of selectmen about can we, if it's under 50,000, we can use them as a continuation of they did all the previous project, which is a good thing. So uh, we should have all of that, plus we should get an update, plus there's a couple other things on the makeup fair unit that are unresolved right now. That we need to get. Don't you? Yeah. So we need to get all that taken care of um, for the next meeting. Um, that's, yeah, ESC will hold, hold their price if the work starts in September. It may even start before that. Um, any later, and they would need to revise. So that's good to know. It would, it would be silly to change. for them to change mm -hmm. number one for security, right? For the for the police yes. department. Yeah. Number two, they they already done the they already did the original project. Yeah. And number three, it seems like Chief Bumner is happy with them yeah. on the service they use. Yeah. So yeah. It checks all the boxes. Yeah. That would... Yeah. I don't. I I think that going out. To bid, even if it was just not with an RFP, but asking people for proposals, puts the you know new people in a position of having to learn everything. The price is probably going to be higher for that reason, and it makes. And you're going to access to the yeah. network, and they're not going to want that. So no, no, definitely not. All right, so fortunately, we can't do much more on the training range. We don't have any invoices. Um, Mark Allen, another question. Um, do you know if the action target update to the plans is going to then put you in a position of having to update your plans further? Or do you think you're good? No, uh, I've reviewed those markups uh, fairly carefully, and we have no, um, no reason to change our drawings any further. Good. That's good to know. So um, their, their whole red line thing, obviously, their action targets red line is all what you, all you needed to know to update yours. So that's good. Correct? That's right. That's okay. right. All right, good. Well, sorry we had to drag you in without anything to do, but I'm hoping at the next meeting, um, I'm going to make sure at the next meeting that we've all gotten those plans enough ahead so we can review them right. individually and if we need to go through them with a little page turn kind of thing we'll do that um and just make sure that everything we ask for and then again it's mostly who's mechanical contractor and um, who's providing what you know electrical feeds and things like that so yeah um is there anything Bob Durkin, do you have anything that you need to know, tell us about, or if you need to know about, et cetera? No, I don't have anything further tonight. All right, great, thanks. So from what I remember of Evan's um, sketch of a schedule, we're still moving in a, a good direction. We just make sure, we wanna make sure at the next meeting that everything that we have to complete is completed so that then we can start putting bid packages out and getting all that, because they're gonna need to start doing some construction August, September, but I would say even sooner, just in case, and we'll get an update, like you said, John, on manufacturers, so that we know they're so, ahead of schedule, we want to know. So, uh, uh, Lieutenant Lambertini, or maybe Lieutenant Durkin, they've had contact with Action Target, rather than waiting for our next meeting, can they maybe reach out to them for what? Action Target? Well, they, we don't need to Action target ordered the AM unit. Yes. So they could find out what the. Well, Evan will find out. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When he's not here. Well, I know he's not here. <laughs> I I have his email and his phone number. Oh, and, all right. Yeah, I'll be in touch with him. Okay. Yeah, he'll he will check. I I don't want to put it on uh, Lieutenant Durkin or Lieutenant Weber's okay. name. So yeah, Evan will take care of that. Yep. One thing, uh, one question I do have: Did we ever straighten out the um, the warranty issue with who was uh, when the warranty was going to activate? I know there was some controversy over whether it was going to be when it was uh, factory startup or when it's commissioned, etc. So the discussion on that, the last discussion that was had with on that was that that we're not buying the makeup area and Action Target is buying the action the makeup air unit and kind of selling it to us. 
So they felt that that had some bearing on when the warranty started. We still don't have a um, an answer on that. And that's we another do. thing. I sent out the email because I I talked to Aon. Okay. And and it was in an email to everybody on that it's it's a time from when it leaves the factory or startup. I don't know the exact verbiage. If I, if it's a, if I'm allowed to go into my phone, I can look. Yeah. But there was verbiage that I got from the the Aon dealer on how it works, and it's a it's a combination of two things. But I sent it to everybody. Uh, I don't see. I don't, I don't recall how it. I don't either. Yeah, I might have missed it. Matters. Yeah, I'm looking. Hold on. Was it from your new address or from your old address? Probably my Okay. Bear with us. Wow. So we Did you find it? Okay. Yeah. I'm in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. 18 months from when it leaves the factory or 12 months after startup. Okay. Whatever comes first. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Bob Durkin. For no guy, right? Yeah. Um, it's basically 18 months from when it leaves the factory or 12 months from factory from site factory startup, whichever comes first. I'm guessing the 12 months is going to be because it's not going to well, be. Well, I hope six it doesn't months. stay here for six months. It better not stay here for six months. months. That would be bad. So it is the one year. So we're good with that. All right. Thanks for asking. Yep. Sorry, I do remember reading that, thinking, well, good, we figured that out. And then we haven't talked about it in a month. So um, good. All right, so any other questions for either Bob Durkin or Mark Allen, or do you guys have anything for us that we need to look at? That would be good. Yeah. All right, so um, Mark Allen Evan will be, I'm sure, in touch with you, and we'll be badgering Action Target to get the stuff you need so that we can keep moving forward with this, because we have to approve the plans, and we can't approve the plans unless they're complete. So. All right, thank you all. We have one more item on our agenda, which is the HVAC project for the high school. And I don't really have anything on that yet because um, again, they had stated in their last, um, the Office of School Construction had stated that their next um, awarding of grants would be August, so. We're on we a, know that wait list. yeah we're on the wait list kind of sort of we know that Fuller Ronan is continuing with their design of the whole project not just that part and the first part of it's getting done we don't deal with that we don't have anything uh, so okay. I'm gonna uh, yeah I was gonna ask to step back on, on that because we had some questions at the last time as far as Fuller Ronan's design and I yeah. think John you were concerned as far as the reliability of absolutely of, you know, um, it, i think we still have a disconnect yeah it, um, well first of so all i'm not too sure if we can do anything that's the thing about well the thing. I'll, I'll, I, I, I'll say it again as a taxpayer and a member of the board for them to continue on a design that is not in the best interest of the town and the taxpayer i am strongly against and I don't know how we stopped this. Um, it was it was bad enough that we we were handed a design with no input. Right. That to me, I'll even go out to say that it's an insult. Um, we all volunteer our time here to get a good product for the town, and and knowing that they're continuing on a design that that is not the right fit for a school. Um, it, it's alarming. 
So it's alarming. And we got sold on the first one. I attended one meeting. So I get the science wing, replacing the rooftop unit. I'm okay with that. But I have a binder that says that they're going to put a VRF system into the high school. I've mentioned to multiple people, um, including Dr. Carver, that call the superintendent uh, and will in and ask them the experience they had on the one single VRF system that they put in in one of their schools and what the outcome was. It is not, absolutely not, the application for a school. So, and it's so the second. Ronnie came back last time, I think. Yeah, they went the to last one. They said, well, this was the appropriate. And, and, and I was upset because you, you weren't part of that one. And they were saying this was appropriate for this building because of its low ceilings. And yeah, different. But, but if everybody remembers back when we were building the police station, they said the same thing for the police station. But right. it's not the and primary. That, it's not the primary. Yeah, that was the other thing. It was not. It's a it secondary. Does that make a difference or no? No. Because oh, okay. it puts it puts a cassette unit, yeah. a drain line, yeah. and. A, Every monumental yeah. amount of freon lines in the ceiling of the school yeah and it puts a drain line in every classroom Pump, it it puts, pumps it or drains. more pumps yeah. even worse um yeah. i'm gonna well, tell you it's, it's disturbing that they're going they're not it, so so john what what is the other choice well it, 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 you know last time josh and i spent a couple of nights poking around the ceiling because it, there was a slight talk about it for Rockwell and uh, Johnson, and then we wound up with a system that was, you know, not a VRF, right. mm -hmm. you know, not not a VAV system. You know, every everybody complained about this VAV system and the cost of the police station, but everything I've heard, the comfort has been outstanding. And when they visited police stations. Excuse me, that was the major complaint. We have right. terrible climate control. Right. That was 90% right. of all and, the And everything that I hear now, unless something new developed, that the police station, VAV boxes, hot water reheats, we call them, with right. VAV boxes with, with a hot water coil on it. You know, there's there's a, all different kinds of approach. But apparently, they're not using it for any heating at all. This is just for all cooling. Right. Yeah, but you're putting something here. Here's here's the other problem. Number one, there's there's only one halfway decent one out there, manufacturing wise. From what I hear, we 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 don't put them in any of our schools. We got twenty two of them, twenty two schools. Um, Mitsubishi seems to be the the better yeah. of, of of the evil. I call it. And, I, and I'm oh, for the VRFs. Yeah. I had I had at my old place I had Mitsubishi's, and the problem with those is we had same thing. We had you have condensing outside. Right. Inside you have the box where all I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Probably where all the pipes come in and it disperses out to all the units. The main valve in that box, the main control board, went bad. It took us six months to get the control board. board. Yeah. So yeah. all the units were down. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything went down. So we had four. We had six units off of that and they put in critical rooms so in critical rooms i put moving coolers in it was just you know so i'm going to completely agree with the vrfs are not absolutely not yeah. and you don't want to go individual because then it's the same damn thing right yeah. so you go to can you retrofit the existing heating unit on a roof there's nothing it's, and it's not the heating i guess it's just all cool right no i'm saying can you the units are on the roof for the heat, correct? On some of those, I, I, we I, never even. I mean, never even from got that far. Standing, there were baseboards or whatever else so, perimeter, mm, just perimeter. But there is side. air in there. I, yeah, there I, I'm air. not too sure. Yeah. So what, what, I mean, the what, problem is, is we're kind of coming in at, at well, that's, a, a, that, a nowhere. That's that's the problem. And then get then get and, the. And I just have the feeling that he's worked it all out with, with Dr. Carver and you know, Paul well, Rowan is just basically working the way through, saying this is. This is basically this. what you're saying is they invited us to run four laps around the track after they just completed the third. After they, yeah. Right. And now we, now and, we have And to I have answer. trouble with that. And I, I, and, and no, it's I'm just awkward where we are here. And, and, and that's, and I will go on the record to say one additional thing. If this is going to be crammed 
down our throats, I will be resigning on this board, though. Because the life expectancy of these units is 10 years. Right, Max. I, I don't want to be the guy that sat on the board that said it was okay to put it in. That's what Coloradan was saying also. Yeah, what? 10 years, 10, 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. So then you have to replace them? Yeah. That, that was, the that was where I gathered out yeah, of that yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah no, it's so, Ten, huh. ten years, you're yeah, replacing that. the outdoor, the condensers. All right, so here, yeah. here's another I don't thing. think they, that's what I, that's what I would say. It's My a, problem is I really don't know which systems work for schools, okay, yeah. and, and what it is. But, but it seems like we're way, way down the line for us getting involved. That we're basically being told this is what we're going to build. Yeah. You guys who In the last meeting, Corner Road basically, they, yeah. they dug in and said, nope. That's exactly right. Nope, this is what, yeah. we're, this is what we're going to do, you know why? like it or not. Because it's easy, it's copy and paste. Right. right. You know, you just it's oh, put the unit over there. There's not any engineering involved. Right. It's copy and so, paste. Exactly. So you know, the, put it wherever you want. Yeah. <laughs> if the Board of Ed hired Col the Board of Ed hired Kohler Ronan to do plans for this whole entire fix the high school HBAC from start to finish, and the plans are still in progress. Right. But we've been asked to only oversee the part that the grant is covering because the grant requires that. We don't even know if we got the grant. If we didn't get the grant, I don't know how they're gonna. But it sounds uh, like a struggle, anyways, even on that part. Yes so, and no. It's more like so, waiting so, for ding, the ding, state. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I'm gonna say something. Yeah. There's a possibility. Just gonna say this. Yeah. There's a possibility that the state saw what you're putting in, and it only has a ten. You know, think about it. When we renovated uh, the schools. Uh, it yeah. has had a 50 year life cycle. Right, right, right. right, right, right. You got to right. renovate as new. Well, the state sees what you're putting in there, and here's the catch. So the, the grant is if you if you came and applied for the grant, right? Yep. Even if you didn't get the grant, my understanding was you still had to do the project. Oh. Well, oh, you, oh that's the, really interesting. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't understand. You still now, I don't, I don't, you well, know, I'm not project. involved in the particulars of what, you know, what they applied for. But so just to clear the air with, with this, is this something that would be worthwhile just to talk to Dr. Carver and Absolutely. see if we could, see if we could get him. I mean, I, I, I was very uncomfortable last meeting without, without yourself here. Okay. Right. I, I was very right. yeah, and I apologize, but I got to tell no, everybody, I, I, we all have to, we, we just got another additional John, three million. I am flying at the seat. I, yes. I knew enough to know that you were, you were somewhat uncomfortable <laughs> with, with that system. And that, that's where, you know, and the thing about it is these guys are way down the line and I think it's very awkward. And a lot of the questions that are coming up, they, they, they seem to take 8, 10, 12 years. That's, that's all. That's all so-called anything is going to be good for us in their right. So here's my suggestion that I'm willing to do. And if I have a little advance notice, I can squeeze it in. That we set up a meeting at the school mm -hmm. with Cole or Ronan. Walk the roof. Walk the roof and say, where are you putting these? Right. What is there existing? Have Bob Germanero with us. Exactly. And maybe even the... I, I don't know who uh, New England Bob, Mechanical used to service it. I don't know. Bob, they still do. Bob was not happy with with the changing filters and all and pumps and all the other things in each one. He's he's not happy with that right. either. So on top of it only so, having a ten year life cycle, I myself don't think that the northeast climate is conducive to these. It's good if you get maybe, you know, Virginia down, you know, when you don't have you know, excessively cold weather and stuff, but a, a proven fact is, uh, Will and uh, put it at Miller Driscoll, and it it was, it was not a good film. You know, yeah, they're so thinking about using it for dual purpose for heating and cooling. And, the heat and here's work. the other thing yeah, it that that I, I, that I, I say. Can, see, they're not concerned about that though. No. We we don't even look into them, but this is what I've heard. You have the air handler that's inside the building, right? You have the unit that's outside. So if I have a carrier unit on top of your office building and the air handler is okay, I could put a train carrier McQuay condensing unit. Anything you want. No, none of these right. are interchangeable. No, absolutely not. So you're stuck. You put it in. Yes. 
Mitsubishi is expensive. You can't say expensive. I'm going to go get yes. it. Ten years when it's obsolete and they're not getting Well, the, the problem too with the Mitsubishi is all the software is preparatory. Right. So you have to have, like I had Tucker Mechanical come out. We changed companies. We went away from New England Mechanical, who actually, we had them install it. We moved away from them because of their pricing. Brought in Tucker Mechanical, which is also a sister company. And they didn't have the software. They had to buy the laptop. They had to get, so they ended up having to pay New England Mechanical to come out to plug in to, to do the repairs yeah. because you can't repair it without plugging in and right. using the software. Yeah, exactly. So you're also but you're locked, Carver meets you're locked, the you're locked into this. Yeah. Carver meets the heroes. So well, right. So I think your idea of seeing about setting something up. Yeah. With you want to go? I'd love to go. Heck so yeah. The only the, the I, best day know, for me is I, Friday. I, put it this I don't know a lot about. No, no, I can't have you're four, very knowledgeable four, guys. So I, 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 I'm fine. I don't, I don't do mind it if you're there. I don't mind walking. It's hard. It's hard would Bob be? Work, would Bob? Would Bob would be considered right? Because he'd be considered kind of school. Or he'd be considered, right? Because he's well. Then that's five. So well, take so me out, Bob. No, no, no. Wait, 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 Bob. That's. He's not a scientist, Bob's not part so of it, so okay. He's not part of this, right, right. so it's fine. So me, John, so the, and Bob. The three of you and Bob would be fine. Yeah. So all right. So Wednesdays never. I could never do a Wednesday, and uh, Fridays are probably the best. We do wine and cheese in the store. Which is so yeah. You know what you can do is, is we can see if um, I'll do an email and I'll include all of everybody, but um, suggest a Friday. Like late af later afternoon, yeah. like you guys work most of the day, and then go running over there. I don't know where you're working right now. So, so. yeah, it, it, preferably um, in the morning. I can I, in my hours. I can do it every morning. Okay, all right. Like early, earlier in the morning. So first thing in the morning, the afternoon, or like in four or five o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Not, well, after we, we wouldn't be able to walk around the school after four. Yeah. Yeah. School is in session. We just give them our driver's license. Well, I know, but it's sure. easier yeah. if your kids aren't all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. If Jim and Errol's there, he can escort you. Yeah. Yes, I understand that. I'm just saying it's easier to get around and do things when there's not right, a right, bunch right. of people in the way. So, <laughs> all right. So I'll see about getting that set up. You want Cola Ronan to be a part of it, right? Absolutely. Or do you want to talk about it first before? No, no. no let's get them out there with their whatever they have drawings on. Yeah. Yeah. I like to see what they have for drawings. Well, we have see what they're doing as far as why. The, why well, they're they're what kind of done is they're putting up? Yeah, we gotta look at what gun is you're putting yeah, up. Are they straddling no, 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 the beams properly? Ask them, what's the altar? Are they going towards the columns? Column? We're, we're right. straddling the columns. The column. There's no reason why we can't go up, look at the mm -hmm. what the unit's supplying right now. Exactly. It, it, well, that's so. That's I know there's units up on the roof now. I looked, just looked at Google Earth, but that's like five years old, six years old. But I know there's units on the roof that feed part of the building. So you know, you can, you can absolutely retrofit those, but the other ones we don't know. Yeah. So, so, so my, my second question, I want to I want to get back to why maybe they didn't get the grant is if you're not improving air quality yeah. and you're just right. conditioning the space uh, and you're not bringing right. in fresh air, uh -huh. I think it's hence supposed we got to, three million. So right, I think it's supposed to. I think that's part of the grant is you have to improve the air quality. Well, you're not doing that. So you're not doing that because yeah. they don't take okay. the outside air. You're not doing anything. Right. Okay. Okay. Just that that was right. it was it was to improve the air. That was the whole. And then, right. I'm, that's exactly right. I can almost that guarantee that you that the, the, the state there was a point system. Got it. That okay. they went and checked. I don't know this, but a point system. Well, oh yeah, it's they're going to improve on indoor air quality. Check. They're going to condition the space. Check. Check. You know, it's it's all relevant. And 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 like I said before, when we renovated the schools, for it to qualify, I thought it was it had to have forty or or fifty year life cycle. <laughs> and that's become a big thing now because of COVID. So I mean, the air quality yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I can understand it needing to be. Yeah. All right, so why don't I just uh, do the email, I'll include Dr. Carver and every Bob and all everybody else. And I don't, you know, I'll have them to make sure that Colorona gets there. Um, because my, uh, my understanding is that they were gonna do the, this whole HVAC upgrade in phases, I don't know how many phases, however many phases, and we weren't ever That's what in I the mix or being a part of it. We were only brought in to that 
one phase. It's all where pretty the, awkward. It it's part of the grant. I don't know. Do you do you know yeah. what the grant? Do you have, have a building committee involved? It puts us in an awkward position. Yeah, it does. Is, it does. Was the feeling yeah. that I had? There's but, there's all kinds of. Get you don't have that. The that they're there just going to say you supervise this, and we're like, yeah, no, uh, commissioning we, agent. We don't, we don't agree. agree. Yeah, yeah. somebody. I, I don't know all the. Right. That's bad. Yeah, that's a bad thing. The train is down the track, and we're trying to catch up. Yeah, yeah, that's where we are. Okay. The last meeting, so, that's the question. Yeah, that's, that's what's already in writing, and we're just getting yeah. out of it. Yeah. It's yeah. gone. All right. Well, you got to go to the train. Okay. Like, I'd like to, to make a motion that we adjourn. So, Mr. Uh, Perry can pick up his lovely wife at the train station. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Aye. So, look for an email from me. Well, and I'll start a tab.